Thanks for staying with us. Regardless of the economic condition, jewellery, either gold or diamond, remain priceless, making them dependable for long-term investments. In Malaysia, gold is still a popular investment, although the investment trend seems to be heading in the direction of diamonds. One factor that may be contributing to the increasing popularity of diamond could be its rising value against gold price, which has been on a decline compared with last year. Managing Director of Empress Diamonds Worldwide, Sandram Bahat, Dr. Sri Nitin Cohen, has said the price of diamond has increased 10% from last year, while gold price has dropped 20%. Since gold reached an all-time high of $1,921.50 an ounce in 2011, prices have been volatile in line with the dollar movement. On Friday, spot gold ended at $1,245.06 per ounce. Because there's a cash crunch all over the world. Actually, people are just holding to the cash. They are not investing in cash. And diamond is the utmost luxury where people actually will only going to, uh, people will actually going to buy when they have surplus money. So I think it's getting better and uh, people are getting more trust as an investment. People really felt really low because the gold really went down. They thought that gold is a great investment. But right now people are turning towards diamond because it's a proper certificate and the diamond prices are going up. He was met during the Malaysia International Jewelry Festival 2016, MIJ, a platform for local and international established jewelers to showcase their best and latest designs. This year alone, more than 100 booths were taken by manufacturers and retailers from Hong Kong, India, Iran, Italy, Japan, Singapore, Thailand, with newcomers from Lebanon and Russia. Locally, the retail jewelry sector has remained pretty strong. Nevertheless, Operations Executive of MIJ Exhibition Syndrome Bahad, Henry Kam, said the supply of imported jewellery had somewhat dropped following the weakening ringgit. Uh, it's not that the demand is reduced. The, the main reason is the one thing is the economy. Consumers demand is there, but then the supply is a bit, uh, we're facing a bit tough, tough challenges. In terms of um, import, uh, importation is uh, is a bit complicated now the procedures and and it will incur a lot of uh, high costs high costing for them to come into to Malaysia. Meanwhile, the MIJ 2016 Spring Edition, which took off at the Kuala Lumpur Convention Centre on Friday, will be on show until Monday.